Welcome back for number three in our three-part series on Microsoft Access Relationships. And today, we're going to take a look at the one-to-one -one relationship in Access. Now, with the one-to-many, we learned that one company can have many employees, and those employees can share characteristic types that we can store and analyze in our database using that relationship. In the indeterminate relationship, we learned that two or more tables can have one or more matching items. But in the one-to-one -one relationship, basically the relationship dictates that you can have two or more tables, but in those tables, you can only have one match. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create it and one of my favorite uses for that type of relationship. So, Stick around and give me a few minutes while I show you how to create and use a one-to-one -one relationship in your Microsoft Access database. Unlike the indeterminate and one-to-many relationship, the one-to-one -one relationship in Microsoft Access is particularly useful for collecting bulk data. The indeterminate and the one-to-many relationship allow you to collect each transaction and then aggregate those at the end of the process to get a result. But with the one-to-one -one relationship, we start by collecting the data in bulk. You'll notice in the two tables that I'm showing in the relationship window that the connecting field here is fiscal week and there can be no two fiscal weeks that are exactly the same. So that is a perfect example of a field that can be key, no duplication. To create the one-to-one -one relationship, we'll start off by keying the two fields and we'll start since we're in the relationships window already by moving to the marketing table and then right clicking on that table and choosing table design. Once we're in the design view of the table, I can then make sure that I'm on the fiscal week field and then move up and over to the primary key and then click that command. So once I click the primary key, the field properties for the fiscal week are now set to required yes and the field is indexed with no duplicates. We'll close the table and save the change and then do exactly the same thing with our sales table. So I'll right click, move to table design and then move to the fiscal week field and key that field. We can then close this table and save the changes and then create the relationship. Since we are collecting bulk data, you'll notice that in the two tables, we're collecting two different types of data. In the marketing table, we are collecting by fiscal week, sales calls that have been made, promotional emails that have been sent and newspaper ads that have run during that fiscal week. In the sales table, we are collecting the total visits to our website, the number of in-store visits, and bulk total sales for a specific fiscal week. And we can create the relationship by grabbing the keyed field in either table and then dragging that field over to the connecting table and let it go. When we do, the program lets us know that we are creating a one-to-one -one relationship and we can then enforce rules. And we'll start with the enforce referential integrity, which of course means that there cannot be a entry in the sales table without a corresponding fiscal week in the marketing table and vice versa. Once we activate that rule, we now have two other options. We can cascade update the related fields, meaning that if we for some reason would need to change the fiscal week in one table, it will automatically change in the other, eliminating orphan records. And the last one, cascade delete related records, meaning that if we get rid of a fiscal week, we will lose both the information for the marketing efforts and for sales. Once again, 
preventing orphan records from occupying our database. I'll go ahead and click the Create button, and you will then see the one-to-one -one relationship line. So let's put this relationship to use. We'll close the relationship, save the changes, and then let's open the marketing table and enter some records. Now that we've added some records to the marketing table, you can see that in, for example, the uh, fiscal week of 7-30-2018, we made 20 sales calls, we sent out 200 promotional emails, and ran one newspaper ad. And for the other three weeks, we have similar bulk information entered by fiscal week. In our sales table, we have the exact same fiscal weeks, but the data we collect in this table has, of course, to do with sales. So how many website visits did we get? And in that same week, we've got 250 website visits, 50 in-store visits, and total sales of $1,000. So now we can put our one-to-one -one relationship to work and do some analysis on this data. We'll do that by creating a query. So from the Create tab, Query Design, and then add our two tables, Marketing and Sales. Then we'll close the Show Table box and then just slightly separate the tables. And you can see already that the relationship has transferred into the query. So I'll start by adding the fiscal week, and I only have to do that from one table. Because of our rules, the fiscal week has to be the same in both tables. I'll then add the sales calls, promotional emails field, and newspaper ads. From our sales table, I'll skip that fiscal week, and then add website visits, in-store visits, and then total sales for that fiscal week. When we run the query by moving up to the design tab and then over to the left to run, we can now see that, for example, the fiscal week of 7-30-2018, we made 20 sales calls, sent out 200 promotional emails, ran one newspaper ad, and for those marketing efforts, we got 250 visits to our website, 25 in-store visits, and total sales of 1,000. So by using the one-to-one -one relationship and collecting two totally different types of information in bulk, we can now put that relationship to use to allow us to do some analysis of our marketing and sales efforts. So while the other relationships, the one too many and the indeterminate, let you analyze the minutia in each record, you know, sometimes you just can't get your data in that format. So if you get bulk data, what are you gonna do? One to one relationship. Now, I hope you found this overview of the Microsoft Access uh, relationships, the one-to-one, -one, as well as the one-to-many and indeterminate, to be helpful to you. And if you did, hey, drop me a comment. Uh, either way, I hope you found it helpful. And until our next video, thanks for joining me, and I'm Wayne.